we came here, we saw that, that we had a tropical house and we thought we would try and, and bring in the butterfly house here. Um, and as you can see, it's a very, very successful. And we're different in the other butterfly houses. When we came here to Cambridge House, there was big wide paths and nothing along the sides. So we brought in pot plants or containers along the side and we brought the plants closer to the public. So now the public can actually see butterflies laying their eggs, um, we can see the caterpillars feeding, you can see the pupae, and it's really a photographer's paradise at the moment. The, the Tropical Butterfly House is three years in preparation and development and planning, and it's sort of now up and running probably a number of months, and it's, it's a credit to the team, um, because there's lots more involved than just bringing in a few butterflies. You have to source them, you have to provide them with the necessary environment for them to survive, you have to give them the plants, the food, whatever the environment they need. So there's a lot involved. About three years ago, uh, my predecessor uh, in the job and some of the colleagues here on, on the ground uh, did a refurbishment job on the, on the glass house and had this idea about a butterfly house and what it could do, what it could deliver. So uh, I came on board about two and a half years ago and uh, we looked at other facilities in the UK and uh, one in Spain in particular, and we started to develop an idea about what this could deliver for tourism, but also will stand alone uh, as a, an attraction for schools, scouts, uh, youth groups, etc. Quite apart from the actual interest in butterflies themselves, and there's a huge cohort of people out there who are really interested in butterflies as butterflies. So I think we're on to a real winner.